Hello friends, I am Saurabh. Let's have a look at a simple problem today which is how to find maximum average subarray of size k. So the problem statement is given an integer array and a number k, we have to print the maximum average subarray of size k. So what is maximum average subarray of size k? Maximum average subarray of size k is a subarray which is sequence of contiguous elements in the array for which the average is maximum among all the subarrays of size k in the array. Now average of k elements is sum of k elements divided by k. Since k is greater than 0, the maximum sum subarray of size k will also be a maximum average subarray of size k. So the problem reduces to finding maximum sum subarray of size k in the array. Let's take one example to understand the problem. Consider the following array. Here k is equal to 3. First subarray of size 3 starts from index 0 to 2. It has elements 11, minus 8 and 16 and hence sum is 19. Next subarray of size 3 starts from index 1, 2, 3 and has elements minus 8, 16 and minus 7 and sum is 1. Similarly, next subarray of size 3 starts from index 2 to 4 and has elements 16, minus 7 and 24 and sum is 33. Next subarray of size 3 contains element minus 7, 24 and minus 2 and sum is 15. And final subarray contains elements 24, minus 2 and 3 and sum is 25. So maximum sum subarray of size k in the array contains elements 16 minus 7 and 24 and sum is 33 which is also maximum average subarray of size 3. Now let's have a look at the algorithm for solving this problem. These steps will be explained in detail with an example in subsequent slides. Do not worry if you do not get it right away. Algorithm uses sliding window strategy. So the first step is to find sum of first k elements in the input array initialize max sum to the calculated sum and max sum start index to 0. Add next element to the sum and subtract first element from the sum. Check if this sum is greater than previous sum and update max sum and max sum start index. Keep adding next element to the sum and removing first element from the sum to get sum of current subarray of size k and update max sum and max sum start index whenever a greater sum is seen. Finally print k element starting from max sum start index. We will understand and visualize the algorithm through an example. Consider the following array. Here k is 3. Let us calculate sum of first k elements which is from index 0 to 2. So the sum is 11 plus minus 8 plus 16 which is equal to 19. We initialize max sum to 19 and max sum start index to 0. Now sum of next k elements from index 1 to 3 is minus 8 plus 16 plus minus 7 which can also be calculated as 11 plus minus 8 plus 16 plus minus 7 minus 11 which is same as calculating sum of elements from index 0 to 2 plus element at index 3 minus element at index 0. So we can see here that sum of next k elements can be calculated using previously calculated sum of k elements. This can be seen as window of size 3 sliding across the array. Now here sum of k elements from index 1 to 3 is 1 which is less than current max sum which is 19. So we do not update max sum and max sum start index. Similarly, sum of next k elements from index 2 to 4 can be calculated as sum of elements from index 1 to 3 plus element at index 4 minus element at index 2 which is 33. Since 33 is greater than current max sum which is 19, so we update max sum to 33 and max sum start index to 2. Similarly as before, Sum of next k element from index 3 to 5 can be calculated as sum of elements from index 2 to 4 plus element at index 5 minus element at index 2 which is 15. Since this is not greater than current maxim which is 33, we do not update maxim and maxim start index. Similarly for the final subarray of size 3, the sum is 25. So finally maximum sum subarray of size 3 in the input array has sum 33 and starts at index 2 and the subarray is 16, minus 7 and 24. Time complexity of the algorithm is order of n and space complexity is order of 1. Have you checked our IDESERV web portal at www.ideserv.co.in? We are uploading new topics every day. Please check it out and leave us your feedback. Please let us know your valuable suggestion on current topic. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our IDESERV channel. Like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you.